This is SharkBite mail adapter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect it to the copper and connect the other side. Let's get started. First step, cut the copper. After the copper was cut, you need to remove the burr. Now you see it's really sharp. First one to remove the outside using this way and push hard and turn. Let's use this side to clean the inside. Then mark the copper 0.95 inch. You don't need to use the sandpaper to sand the surface, but you're gonna make sure that the copper tube is round and there's no dirt, no damage. Let's look at the inside. In the middle, there's a stiffener color. So you actually just put this one inside the tube packs or copper. If you look further in, you will see the metal teeth. Actually, this is the grab ring to grab the copper or packs tube. And right above here, we can see it. Actually, this is O-ring. It seal the pipe. So why we need to make a mark? You're gonna make sure that your pipe will pass the grab ring, also pass the O-ring to the middle part. There's a stop. So in this way, you can fully seal. So we need to make a mark. If we look at the other side, you will see that there's a stop right here. The first step is to put the inner stiffener inside the tube like this. And now we're touching the grab ring. Facing your mark should facing you and this thing should be lined up So grab firm and push And keep pushing So now you see the mark is right here means that we pushed it all the way in Let's see the other side. It's right there Now let's do the another part for connecting this one, we need to use the tape. So for example, we connect it to the valve. It's very easy. Just thread it in. And then you need to use the wrench to make it tight. But sometimes you maybe change your idea or simply just made a mistake. So you want to remove this. For shark bite, it's very easy. We have a disconnect to. We are using this part facing the shark bite fittings collar like this. Push that in. All we need to do is to push this one into the fitting, squeeze the collar, and then at the same time we grab the pipe to take it out like this. So you need to push really hard. Okay, like this. And after you take that one out, you need to check if any damage, damage of the teeth or any parts damage. If no damage, this one can be reused. And for the valve part, it's easy just to thread it out. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.